Welcome to The Daily Debo. My name is Alec, and today we are talking all about choices. What would you say is the biggest choice that you have ever made that you for sure regret making? I know we all have different times, situations, and moments where you can look back and probably pretty clearly see the point where we all messed up. Do our mistakes define us? Absolutely not. But as human beings, when we make a decision, when we have to live with the consequences, regardless if they are good or bad. As we dive further into today's scripture, we are going to be talking about decisions, of how we carry ourselves with decisions about lust, intimacy, and adultery. As we dive in, would you have open hearts and open ears to hearing what the text is saying? Today our verse is in Proverbs 5, 8 through 9. Let's read. Stay away from her. Don't go near the door of her house. If you do, you will lose your honor and will lose to merciless people all you have achieved. Okay, so jumping in with clarity, this is Solomon talking to his sons to stay away from these women that know how to draw men into them and entice them into their home and commit adultery. Solomon is just doing what any good dad ought to do and warn his sons that you do not need this experience and for the best way for that to happen is to not go near it. Now in 2024 and in this very moment, this may not be your struggle, but what I do know to be true, a lot of us can say we have dealt with lust or maybe looking at things on our devices that we shouldn't be. We all deal with temptation in different ways, but what I found in my own life, the best defense against temptation, just like Proverbs 5 says, is to get away from it immediately. We see this a couple other times in 1 Timothy 6 and Genesis 39. Regardless of what tempts you in a physical way, start to avoid these sources of temptation. If you can't go to certain places because of how people dress and it causes you to lust, or if there's places that you interact with people that you fall into a sinful action with, do not go there. Run the opposite way. Listen, we're all human beings at the end of the day. We are all created in the image of God. We are all given free will and can make great choices or horrible choices. So would you acknowledge the flaws and start creating healthy boundaries and distances from anything that would draw you to sin? If you are currently in the midst of a lustful sin, would you seek Christ? Would you find someone in your life that can come around you and help start heading the right way? Thanks for joining us on The Daily Devo.